Ever wonder what it's like to be an aviator? Well, this is an exciting age in the aviation industry. In fact, it's the perfect time to give you an inside look at many of the awesome opportunities available in the field of aviation maintenance, setting you on your own flight path toward this amazing career. Right now is one of the best times to get involved with this industry. The opportunities are endless right now. There is a career path that you can come right out of high school and in a fairly short amount of time join the workforce making a very good salary, working for companies that will provide you a career. And I think aviation and especially aviation maintenance is one of those that you can make a good living and have a good life. We feel it's always a good time to reach out and get involved in aviation. There's so many different aspects of it and there's so many things that you can learn and when you start learning in aviation, you don't stop learning until you retire. You've heard of economy up and downs, but you know, aviation is always there. We just love airplanes. We love to watch them fly. We love to fix them. We love to clean them. We just love airplanes. And that's what aviators are all about. Aviators, just listen to the word aviators. It makes the hair raise up on your arms. Aviators, it sounds like pioneers. So how do you get started in aviation maintenance? The Federal Aviation Administration has launched a program to connect you, students interested in aviation maintenance, with local facilities through internships and job shadow programs. The FAA is also spreading the word about these sweet career opportunities by reaching out to future aviators at air shows like Kid Venture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. What we've done this past year in the Aircraft Maintenance Division is we've initiated a goal. It's all about outreach to the younger generation. My name is Tyler and I'm going to be an aviator. My name is Elise and I want to be an aviator. My name is Zoe and I want to be an aviator. Being here at Kid Venture is an amazing experience for me. Recently I've been very involved in reaching out into our local community and speaking with children of all ages. And what we're finding is there's such a lack of awareness of aviation as a career opportunity, a career path. Perfect, let's take a look at that. We have a hangar where we do two venues. One is an operation side, which is all the pilot aspects for kids. And the other is the maintenance side, which does all the maintenance aspects for kids. It's all hands-on. We're building a small experimental airplane in the hangar. We have several power plants, reciprocating engines, where the kids actually hands-on take cylinders off, take pistons off, split the crankcase, and then they put it all back together again. Just reaching out into the community, we've seen an amazing interest, growth and in interest. I want to build my own airplanes, then fly them. I want to design airplanes, and I'm done with school. I want to be a mechanical engineer for aviation. My name is Nolan, and I want to fly a warbird. Once you get bit by the aviation bug, the airplane bug, you're bit for life. And it's just something that you love. You love to do, you love to do it every single day. You stop and watch airplanes fly. I love aviation. I recommend it to everybody. We're very engaged with local high schools and we're constantly bringing kids to this facility, shadowing our technicians that just love working with them. And we figure if we can get a few kids coming through, once they get around the aircraft and get bit by the bug, then we got it hooked for life. Employment in aviation is projected to grow by at least 6% by 2020. Add to that the increased amount of retirees and the opportunities in the field of aviation are in the stratosphere. Every day, new and more modern aircraft are being built. These new planes have state-of-the-art electronics in the cockpit that rival some of the best video games on the market. There's a, a wide range of interests, everything from a mechanical side, uh, you know, if you look at an airplane behind you, it's got physical aspects to it, landing gear and wings and so forth, engines, that uh, if you're, you know, kind of a hands-on type of person, uh, there's that aspect, aviation maintenance. But there's also, uh, in today's airplanes, the electronics part of it is just, just exploding. Uh, the airplanes today are all run by computers. Our maintenance folks use a laptop as much as they use a wrench today. We work on all different systems on the aircraft, you know, from changing a tire to diagnosing a complex navigational database issue or flight management system. If you look in an, in an aircraft now in the, uh, the cockpit, 
it, it's no more steam gauges. There's nothing in there other than short of uh, CRTs that look like the, the best video games built. You walk in the cockpit, it's like it's like a spaceship. It's just really advanced, and it's it's getting more advanced. And that's one of the things that kept me interested all the years. It's just a challenge of something new, finding new issues and problems, and finding solutions to those problems is, is a really a good feeling that uh, most of us A&P's harbor. That's what we want to do, is feel good about fixing something. Your next step towards jumping into a career in aviation maintenance is to get your A&P certificate, or Airframe and Power Plant Certification. It's just an 18-month course, 1,900 hours. And after completing A&P school, you'll receive your graduation certificate. Take that to your local Flight Standards District office and get permission to take your written, practical, and oral test to become a certified AMP technician. Then boom, you're well on your way to a high-flying career in the cutting-edge world of aviation. There's amazing opportunity for anyone who goes into this business now. We have seen over the past few years an enormous amount of folks retiring from the industry and we're now we're needing to backfill that and there's an incredible shortage of licensed AMPs. And with that, we're willing to take on anyone. I mean, if you come to us with an AMP license, we'll train you, we'll walk you through, we'll grow you, we'll make you an aviator and part of the family. 35 years this year, I worked my way up through the ranks. No regrets at all. It's been a wonderful career. I've made a good living. Uh, my family's enjoyed lots of things. I've gotten to travel as well. I got a job with UT Flight. 32 years ago, and I've been here ever since. If you're a hands-on person, and you want to be towing aircraft on the ramp, moving, fueling, prepping them, putting them in maintenance corners, and then opening them up, inspecting them, signing them off, and seeing them leave, this is a good career for you. You feel proud that you've made that aircraft fly, that it came in with a problem, that the pilot was concerned about, and you fixed it. I love it. It's a uh... It's challenging, so it's almost like getting paid to have fun. My very first job out of AMP school, I was working at an FBO pumping fuel. And today I'm the general manager of an international aircraft manufacturer's facility. This is absolutely not a gender job at all. Anybody can do it. There are no limitations, any age, race, size. Everybody has something that they can contribute. In May 2010, the average salary of an aircraft mechanic and service technician was $53,420. And the average salary of an avionics technician was $52,320. Skilled labor needs to be put back on the radar screen as a cool career choice. And you know, education can be something other than going to a four-year college. I've seen a lot of college kids come out of college with four years education and not be able to get jobs where there's markets that are screaming for technical trades, plumbers, um, carpenters, welders, electricians. We're just not filling those trades anymore because everyone feels that the only way to get there is through a four-year education. That's not necessarily true. In this day and age, you know, if you're a young person, you, you got to think out a little ahead, you know, and, and you've seen a lot in the papers today about people going to college, graduating with $100,000 in student debt and, and not having a job that has any forecast of ever paying that off. And, and I think you really have to have a serious conversation with yourself and think ahead of how am I going to, how am I going to support myself? What am I going to find that I can enjoy, but at the same time support myself and have a good life? Today in America, we need to really focus on skill sets that we can keep here in America. So many folks go on to college and graduate with bachelor's and master's degree, which is wonderful, but then they're trying to find a job and they don't have the basic skill sets they need that they won't learn until they obtain that job. This way you're learning those basic skill sets while you're continuing your college education. And it's a win-win and it definitely speeds up your education. So if you want to go to school for two years and get right into the workplace and the, and, and the jobs pay well with benefits and you have a career ahead of you and you can tell people that I'm an aviator. We're a family of aviators. That's what makes us so successful. This is the new age of skilled technicians. Good paying jobs with great benefits, a strong sense of security, and rewarding lifestyles are ready and waiting for those of you ready to become an aviator. The sky's the limit. This industry will always be here. It will continue to grow. In fact, it's growing right now at a rate that we can't keep up with it. It's very important really just to take a few moments to search. And, and come up with that answer for you. What do you want to do? The wonderful thing about aviation is there's so many avenues that there's incredibly cutting edge technology 
or you can go back to the grassroots of building airplanes. I mean, the sky's the limit. It's a profession that has exacting standards um, and no room for error, and I think that helps solidify that, uh, that bond that goes between us, but uh, it's also fun. We have uh, an objective here of making it a good place to work. If it's more of a family than it is a job. It's been, for me, an opportunity to travel throughout the United States, throughout the world. The options are endless. You can continue to be a mechanic. You can work for the airlines. You can work for the fixed base operators. Or you can expand and get into management. If you want a career, and a career that you can have for 30 years or longer, this is a great career to get into. It's fun. It's exciting. It's a fascinating career and, and I wouldn't exchange any of it. It is what you make of it and the doors continue to open. Here's your badge and then here's your certificate. Come join us and by all means become an AMP. It's a good living and I think you'll enjoy it for a lifetime. I would encourage any young person just to explore the possibility because it's, it's endless. The opportunities are endless. If you'd like more information about how you can be an aviator, contact your local aviation space and education program manager at www.faa.gov forward slash education. Do it now and your career will be ready for takeoff. The Federal Aviation Administration, helping students take off with a great career in aviation.